Is your glass cleaner harming your pet? Hey guys, I'm Jessica, the Furry Family Coach, and in this video, we're gonna be making a pet safe, non-toxic, streak-free glass cleaner. Uh, because we now know, and we kind of thought, but we now know, thanks to a study done or published in July of 2019 in the journal Science of the Total Environment. This research study is titled, and I've got my I've got my cheat sheet here because I don't want to get any of this wrong. This research study is titled Urinary Concentrations and Distribution Profiles of 21 Phthalate Metabolites in Pet Cats and Dogs. So before we get into the recipe for how to make this pet safe, non-toxic, streak-free glass cleaner, which I want to give a huge thanks to Dr. Karen Becker for providing this recipe for this video. Um, this is an amazing, amazing solution, completely non-toxic, safe for your pets. Here's why we need to be making things like this. So before we get started in the actual um, recipe, phthalates, what are they? Well, it is phthalic acid used to increase flexibility of plastics, also durability and longevity. So why are these a problem? Because phthalates are known to cause damage to the liver, the kidneys, the lungs, and the reproductive system. And that's what we just, just what we know, right? So they can, be, uh, they can be absorbed through both skin and inhaling the fumes. So our household cleaners are a problem for that reason. And this is why we're doing this recipe. So um, in, you know, I've, I've done other all-purpose cleaners and I will put links in the description. I have two other videos on this channel about um, making your own all-purpose cleaners, but they're not great for glass and window because they can streak a little bit. So that has historically been kind of an issue. Um, how do we create a pet safe, non-toxic glass cleaner that doesn't streak? And there is one thing that is amazing at making the the water in the um, recipe not streak on glass and windows and i'm going to get to that in just a little bit so let's continue th talking about phthalates for just a second Ooh. how do you know if phthalates are in a product that you use first of all phthalates are in so many things we know they are in household cleaners uh, perfumes hair gels nail polishes air fresheners uh, pesticides and the list just goes on and on and on and on. Um, how do we know if phthalates are in a product? Well, this is, can be sneaky. So one of the things I'm going to do, eight of the most common phthalates uh, that you can find in household cleaners and, and anything around your house, I'm going to put them in the description below because honestly I have a hard time pronouncing them and I don't want to destroy this video. So go ahead and check um, when this video is over. I'll put a list of the eight most common, but, 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 even though phthalates do have to be listed on the ingredients label, they don't have to be listed as what they are, which is kind of funky, right? So manufacturers are allowed to list phthalates as fragrances. So general rule of thumb for me, just like if I'm looking at packages of foods for myself, natural flavors could be anything. So I stay away from that. Fragrances could be anything. So I stay away from that too. General rule of thumb for me, and I suggest to others, if it says natural flavors, if it says fragrances, stay away from it. Because it's just a bulk term, you know, a term that has a bunch of um, ingredients in bulk that could be there, Maybe, maybe not. We don't know. It's how manufacturers get around listing things they don't want to list on the labels. I just stay away from it. So let's get back. Let's get back to this study because I want to tell you exactly what happened in this study. 
So they measured 21 common phthalates in the urine of pet dogs and pet cats in New York State, which I think is awesome because I think New York State is a good representation of every other state in the United States and probably every other first world country. So I think that's a really good representation of pet dogs and cats. Phthalates were detected in 100% of the samples, meaning every single pet dog and cat urine that was sampled contained phthalates. 12 of the 21 phthalates that they tested for showed an excess of 80% of what the markers they were looking for. So um, the, here's the real kicker. So the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, they set standards on what safe limits of phthalates are for humans. Every pet in this study had two times, two times, safe human limits of phthalates in their body. How insane is that? So, let's get back to the recipe. Now we know why this is so important, okay? Because dogs and cats are much smaller than we are, right? They're not bathing every day like we are. They're not washing their hands every, every 20 minutes like we are. They don't have clothes on to protect them. So you clean a surface and your dog or cat walk on it, lay on it, lick off of it. They are ingesting. They are breathing in all of these toxins from the cleaners, from the air fresheners, from fragrances, whatever we're using in our home is contaminating their body. And it is so toxic to them. It is an overwhelming load of toxins. Two times safe lethal limits for humans were found in our dogs and cats. And we wonder why, in addition to the poor food that 96% of the population feeds. We wonder why our cats and dogs are so sick and they're dying so early and they get cancer so frequently, 50 plus percent. So let's talk about some of the things we can do. Uh, I told you before and you can check the description below when this video is over. There are two videos on my channel I will link to in the description about all purpose pet safe non-toxic cleaners you can make. Okay, so let's get right into the recipe here for the pet safe, non-toxic, streak-free glass cleaner. We're gonna start with one cup of water, and I use distilled water. One cup of water, we're gonna take one quarter cup of white vinegar. And one quarter cup of rubbing alcohol. a brand new container. And here is where we get our streak free shine from. One tablespoon of cornstarch. So what scientists have discovered is that glass and of course mirrors are made of glass. Glass has, um, it's kind of porous. So they kind of, they kind of trap and hold water mo molecules on the surface. And when we take a water-based cleaner, which or pretty much every cleaner is water-based. When we take a water-based cleaner and we spray that on glass or a mirror and we rub to get it off, the water molecules are reacting with each other, which causes the streaks. So scientists have discovered, I'm gonna just use this to stir here. Scientists have discovered that cornstarch prevents those water molecules from bonding, from reacting to one another. So it is going to prevent streaking when you use this cleaner. So we're just gonna stir it up and I'm gonna pour it into let me be really, really careful to pour this because if I pour this on video, that is incredibly embarrassing. So I'm going to be taking my time here and not thinking about what I'm saying. So I apologize. <laughs> oh, there we go. I didn't spill any. So I'm gonna pour this into my glass spray bottle. 
Um, I really try not to use plastics whenever possible. I try not to buy any new plastics too. Um, so, you know, shake it up before you use it. Now we've got a streak-free glass and window cleaner. Um, awesome. Now, the one other thing you can do is take your matte Avery labels. I already wrote glass cleaner. And now, this is my glass cleaner. Let's see how it works. Okay, well, here's my mirror. Let's make sure that it is streak free. No streaks at all. How amazing is that? All right, so I'm gonna have to stay this way <laughs> to finish this video. Um, let me know what you think of this pet safe, non toxic, um, streak free glass cleaner, glass and uh, mirror cleaner. And post in the comments below. Let me know what you think and let me straighten this up because I am way crooked guys oh well i'm just crooked so <laughs> thanks so much for watching this video don't forget um if you if you like this video if you want more diys um, recipes how to make your home safer for you and your pets let me know post in the comments below i love making videos like these but you know i need to know that you guys want to see these kinds of videos so i can keep making them um i maybe should have turned this back on too is that going to be too much? I think that's going to be too much for the video. Yeah, I think that was just too much. Okay, anyway, so that was just for people who are like, your ring light's not on. <laughs> that's why the ring light's not on. So, um, yeah, don't forget, I am a dog trainer. I am a force-free positive reinforcement dog trainer. So uh, one of the things that people don't understand of coming from the like old school methods to the new school methods of scientifically training your dog through positive reinforcement, um, it can be kind of difficult for people to, to get a grasp on that. So I wrote a book, Seven Miracle Steps to Train Your Dog. I put a, just a link in the description below. Grab your copy. Um, you will not be disappointed. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to post in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Anything about dog behavior, dog training, um, enrichment, nutrition, I cover it all on this channel. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Thanks so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.